What's going down, everyone? This is Sarius, and welcome to the first official episode of the Killing Floor Arsenal. Now, this is 100% community-driven, meaning that you submit to me the weapon system you want to see battle-tested, and we'll go ahead and throw it through the meat grinder of Wave 9 and 10 on the hardest difficulty in Killing Floor, and we'll see if it lives up to his name. So, because this is the first official video of the Arsenal, I just have to give massive props to all of you Killing Floor players out there that recommended this idea. Without your help and without your feedback, this episode series would not be possible so i just want to let y'all know keep those comments coming and suggestions and i'm definitely open to feedback because this is all about you guys i just want to let y'all know that i don't take any of you for granted and i'm very grateful to have you here so we're not just going to sit here and list off some boring data points that you can actually find on any Wikipedia page. Instead, we're going to talk a little bit about how the weapon handles, how to control that recoil, how to maximize your effectiveness, and we're going to also going to analyze some of the goods and the bads of the weaponry that you guys suggest. And this is all you, so I need your feedback on weapon systems you want me to review. I'll go ahead for now and stick with perk setups, meaning that if you recommend, let's say, the AK-47, you want to see some gameplay footage of it and a review in the arsenal, I'm going to go ahead and play a level 6 commando to show you the maximum capacity. For some of you newer gamers, that means what you guys get to look forward to as you unlock new weapons and you unlock your new levels to be able to use those weapons more effectively. Alright, so talking about today's gameplay footage, we are going to be rocking out with the ball pup. I really love this rifle. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a great tool even for upper level play. Now, this is an underdog weapon. The reason why is that it's overshadowed by its bigger brothers like the AK-47, even the M4, also the FAL and the Scar Mark 17. The damage output on those things are beasts, but this is really where the ball pups being a little brother really shines. Let me tell you a little bit about the hidden gems that maybe a lot of gamers miss out on. The first thing is 50 rounds per magazine. So this weapon is really meant to be fired continuously. But wait, there's more. Now the ball pup totes the fastest reload speed of all the rifles in the commando's arsenal. Now this is really awesome. The reason why is because not only do you have 50 rounds per magazine to just lay waste to anything in front of you, you also can reload extremely fast so that way you're never really dry. Now the only drawback and most obvious one about the ball pup is that it just doesn't have a whole lot of damage per shot. So what this means is that it's going to take you a little extra time to take out targets that normally would take a whole lot less with a bigger brother component. Let's say like the FAL or the SCAR MK17. It would literally tear the floor up, <laughs> you know, in terms of the Zeds that you're aiming at. So here's the thing. How do you alleviate this one weakness, especially in close quarters combat and, and really dangerous situations where you can get swarmed yeah, easy? The way to do this is to pick your secondary rifle as being the showstopper this is basically when you have a ton of enemies rushing your position at one time and you really need a whole lot of super big burst damage chunks you want to go and switch out to your scar mark 17 you want to go ahead and grab rifles like the fall that way it'll give you a big boost all right so we've covered a lot of the obvious points on why the bullpup is such an awesome weapon but most importantly why it might fall short in certain areas where you need a lot of stopping power very fast however we've compensated this with having and packing a scar mark 17 and or a another high damage rifle that will literally allow you to clear those rooms and because you're saving the ammo on that secondary weapon you're not going to have to ever worry about running out of ammo in that kind of case in point and situation because you're going to be focusing the majority of your ammo consumption on the ball pup itself all right you know what else really rocks about the ball pup it's dirt cheap this means it's a great entry level weapon that you don't have to worry too much you can fire and forget the ammo is cheap as well which is really cool and not to mention that you actually can find ball pups scattered around the map Although on Hell and Earth it definitely is a rarity to even see ammo boxes, it really is a refreshing thing to be able to see a ball pup that you can use right away, pick it up for absolutely free, and you can sell it for later for a quick little bit of conversion for cash, or dosh as they say. Good dawn, you might. Now going back a little bit about the ball pup's mechanics, you know what, it doesn't have a whole lot of kick, which is an awesome thing. At level 6, you're not going to feel just about any kick at all. And with Killing Floor, the number one thing about the gunplay is that you don't have to worry about horizontal recoil. This means the gun isn't going to shake left to right like it does in games like Counter-Strike and even Planet Side 2. So all you have to really focus on is the gun arcing upwards if you're going to be laying down some serious fire at long range, you know what I'm saying? So the one thing that you have to know is that if anything... 
with the bulb up, you want to make sure that you're still burst firing. I know you just want to rock and roll with 50 rounds in the magazine. Trust me, I'm, I'm there. I know. I totally understand what you're talking about. But the only time I would use full automatic is when you've got enemies that are less than five meters from your position and they're all rushing. You have so many of them and you're out of ammo for your secondary because that's the first thing that I would go to is when I'm in a really bad situation, I'd go for my scar. Now, generally, the EO tech site is really cool for mid range encounters, but sometimes you're going to have to get really dirty with some hip fire, just going in and just literally spraying for a little bit to get those enemies off your tail so as we fast forward i'm going to show you a tip about sirens remember how i was talking about the siren screen cancel well right here i'm going to slow it down for you so you can actually see what's up all right so watch this closely notice how the siren is just about to start screaming i put a little burst of like two to three rounds in her waited until her head popped back up and as soon as her head goes back down again i repeat that it's kind of like playing whack-a-mole with one mole that you know is going to pop up right in the way and then i just go and finish her off real quickly so you can see just the effectiveness even with a ball pump and what this means is you can use this with any weapon, any rifle. Now, for a sharpshooter, if you have a lever action rifle, you can single headshot her and get her right out of the fight, but sometimes you're not going to have the luxury of time. So you want to time it right when her head's down and ducking. Now, the reason why this might be a little troublesome for a new commando is the fact that sometimes you're going to have a lot of soft targets that are going to be in your way. So in this type of situation, you need to kill them very fast before she screams. So in those types of situations in which you have like five, six enemies blocking a siren that's just about to scream very close to you, if you stick with the ball pop to kill all of them, you're probably going to be in a world of hurt. So what I would recommend is you switch off to your secondary high-powered burst damage rifle, try to take out as many enemies as possible, and go ahead and just dump on the siren as quick as possible to take her out of the fight. You probably will take damage, but you will mitigate that, knowing that you went ahead and popped off some crazy speed kills to take her out of the fight. So as we progress down the descent into the building, I'm going to show you two more examples of how to successfully perform the siren scream cancellation. Now, this might be something you already know, but I know that with a low-powered weapon such as the ball pump, that type of technique will really save you a lot of hardship. The reason why is because if you dumped all rounds into her and killed her, she would get a scream off for some reason. Now check this out. Notice how she's basically being blocked from screaming. That is such a big thing, especially if you're playing point man as a commando. And that's a very popular role for hell on earth kiting parties. The commando always takes point and tries to clear it as much as possible. And the sharpshooter's right there close second to be able to take out some of the higher priority targets. And again, you guys function all together as a team, but you being able to cancel and block those sirens from screaming will save your team countless amounts of effort. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot about this. If you're going to take out the husks, in my opinion, don't waste your ammo with the ball pup. Go ahead and switch off to your secondary burst damage rifle, like your Scar Mark 17 and or Fall, and just go lay waste to that husk. Because I'm going to tell you straight up, if you try to go for headshots, even with the husk with the ball pup, you're going to be there all day. And by the time that you're finished, the target might have moved, it might have shot something at you, you're taking damage, you got fire burning you to a crispy critter and you're not gonna have enough time or ammo to be able to take out all the other targets that are rushing your position so you gotta kind of think a little bit about the consequences of what you're doing and how you engage various targets it's all about finesse it's all about moving at the right pace but setting yourself up for great shots and maximizing your damage output all right guys so what we're gonna do since we are at 17 left we're gonna eventually fade out to wave 10 to 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and stop commentating so that way you can see the bullpup action unaffected by any commentary whatsoever so you can make your own decision on whether you like the ball pop or not so everybody thanks again for taking the time out of your busy day to come watch my video but most importantly submit your ideas for creating the arsenal this wouldn't have happened without your help everyone so i just want to let y'all know that i'm very appreciative to have you guys on board now one thing i want to let y'all know is i want your testimonials i want you to let me know how these weapon loadouts are working for you and if these videos are helping to reach you out let me know what kind of weapon systems you want sarius game to review next and we're gonna get it done you know what i'm saying all right and here's one more thing i think would be really really cool i want you guys to also if you have capabilities of recording your own gameplay in game and getting it up on youtube if you are comfortable with this and it doesn't matter what difficulty you're playing at if you found success with the ball pop or whatever loadouts we rock out with the arsenal feel free to hit me up via video responses i'd love to be able to help share your videos as well so definitely consider that think about that we're going to be rocking out waves 10 of 10 and right quick i just can't believe this but we are over a thousand subscribers everyone that is huge having so many of you awesome people submitting your ideas feedback helping each other out and making sarius games a reality so i want to let you guys know right now and right here forever no matter what happens sarius games is here to stay and i'm the same sarius same serenity whatever you want to call me <laughs> since day one since we started and that's it
If you want to support Cyrus Games, please do me a favor, give that like button a little bit of love and definitely subscribe. We have brand new videos on the way and the best part about this is that these videos are all thanks to your suggestions. That's exactly what it's all about. So this is community driven baby, this is Sarius. Love and light, I'll see you guys on the flip side and let me know what kind of weapon loadouts you want to see in the next arsenal. Thanks, pal. Oh, mate. Cheers, Governor. You're too kind. You're too kind. Thanks, pal. Behind you, you tosser. He's not. Okay. 
Affirmative. Char, mate. Got a flush down close. Nice job, Psycho. Yeah. I've got a lot to go though. Yeah, we'll do. Wake up, you dirty pillar. Yep, roger that. Thank you. 